Hi, my name is Brian and I'm the 3D Print Creator. In this episode we are going to take a look at the results of a print that came out of the printer and which was sliced in simplified 3D. Are you ready? Last time we played around with the settings of simplified 3D to get the best result out of the Da Vinci Pro printer. This XYZ printing printer is normally used with XYZ Wear for Pro, a bundled slicer that gives a pretty decent quality on not too difficult objects. If you demand more from a slicer, you can use Cura or Slicer to print your parts and then save your file so you can upload the file with XYZ Wear for Pro to your printer. But since a few weeks there is also a third party option, Simplify 3D. For Simplify 3D you have to pay money, a lot of it. The slicer costs $150 and it's pretty expensive compared to all the free of charge options. Simplify 3D has to be really good to make up for that price. Well, is it? The two parts here are printed in the last video I made and are sliced in Simplify 3D. Before I did that I tried to print the same parts from XYZ Wear for Pro, but that didn't work out. In Simplify 3D though there was no problem at all, with the right settings the lamp came off the printer perfectly. The two lamps are a bit different though. The first I printed I set my support structure to build a 30% support. After I saw the results I printed another one with only 15% support. Not only because I think the support is now easier to remove, but also because I use a lot of plastic and because it saves me a lot of time. For the first print I had to wait 7.5 hours, the second was done in less than 4 hours. As you can see the support is peeled away a lot easier on the 15% support object and it doesn't suffer from having less support. The quality of the second print is identical to the quality of the first print. Now you can see that paying attention to the settings of your support pay out, because it saves time and plastic. This is good for you, but also for the environment. If you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up and share it on your social networks and with your friends. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so, because I make a new video every Thursday and you can only be notified if you are subscribed. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye.